friends this is tarun from testing yarn till now we have seen that how we can perform various git commands by using the git bash cli to perform various actions so now what if i told you there is a plugin called egit in eclipse which we can use directly to integrate our project with git without even opening the git bash so let us see how we can utilize that plugin the operations which we perform using the git command such as creating the commit of my project then pushing my changes to a remote repo pulling my changes from a remote repo to my local repo even cloning my remote repo to my local system right all those operations we can do with the help of a egit plugin in eclipse okay so this plugin is very useful when we are working on a project with eclipse okay, so now let us see how we can do the basic operation using this plugin so in order to start with it i am first considering the scenario when my project is present locally that is this is my working uh, location okay and my remote repo is a empty repo so you can see this is my repo 2 in github okay and it's an empty repo as of now so what i am going to do i am going to push my local project to the remote repo using the egit plugin so in order to do that first i will click on right click on the project name then i will go to the team and then i will say share project so this share project is equivalent to the git init command that is initializing the git in my local system so i will say use or create repository in parent folder itself and then create repository you can create on other locations as well but i will create my dot git in my parent uh, my project location directly so git you can see it is initializing the dot git repository that is my local repo once i do that okay so you can see it has by default allocated the branch name to this working directory as master so this is my master branch now my local master branch now after this what i have to do go to team and then i will click on commit okay so this command is basically to stage my files and commit my changes okay even you can push your changes from this panel directly okay this section you can see this is my uh, section where i can do all the git operations so these are my files which are currently present in my project so what i can do i can select all the files and i can say like so it went from unstaged to staged uh, area that is uh, this operation is equal into the git add command okay and after that i will do the git commit so in order to do commit i have to give some commit message i will say first commit okay and then i will say commit i am not going to do commit and push you can do commit and push directly that is also fine but first i will show you if i am doing only commit so this has prepared a commit of my project okay my commit is ready now the next operation is i have to push my changes to the remote repo so in order to do that again right click on the project team and then push branch master okay so once i do that i have to provide my remote repo location like uri and all so in order to do that what i will do i will copy my remote repo uri okay and then i will paste it here okay so after this i will give my git username and password so i will give my username testing gyan and then my password and then i will click on preview once i do that uh, it will give me what is my destination branch name so by default the branch name will be master but if you are having multiple branches in your remote repository if you are having more than one branches then you can what you can do you can simply remove this name and type on the branch name it will start finding it okay and it will show you all the suggestions like this is the branch which is available then you have to select the branch okay so this configure upstream push and pull is like when we did it via git commands we did push minus u so this is what minus u do it configure the upstream push and pull okay so we are doing the same thing you can also for the first commit you can also check this checkbox which is force that is whatever the remote repo is holding you can override that using the force command okay but we are not going to to do that because our remote repo is empty as of now okay so after this preview so you can see my master to master branch commit is ready and i am pushing it 
and then I have to again give my username and password so you can see it is pushing and my changes are pushed to my remote repo now if I go to my remote repository and refresh it so you can see my project my Eclipse project is now connected to my remote repository okay so I can do all kind of operations which we did via git commands like I can do the pull command if I have to take the pull I will do pull and again I will give my credentials I'm sorry okay so you can see it is saying everything up to date if you want to create a new branch you can create a new branch as well so for that what you have to do you have to click on switch to and then new branch okay you can give the branch name test branch okay so and this checkout new branch if you're doing it is simply the same checkout command which we discussed in git commands okay and this one is creating the branch that is git branch branch name okay. once I do that finish I can create you can see now I'm switched to test branch branch okay if I want to switch to some other branch like my master branch I will do switch to and master branch so it is that simple like you can do all kind of operations which you do via normal git commands uh, on the Eclipse IDE directly okay you can even configure the different pulls okay if for example if you want to take a pull from some other branch okay you can even do that because currently my pull operation is configured with the branch which I did the upstream push and pull configuration okay so if you have to take some pull from some other branch you can do that as well okay and then you have to specify the branch name like test sorry uh, currently there is only master branch in my remote repository so I have to give the master branch okay currently there is no other branch apart from the master branch in my remote repository and then I can say when pulling what kind of operation I want to do I want to do merge I want to rebase or something okay you can read about all of these commands these are easily available on the git e git documentation okay I will add the link to this e git plugin documentation where all the commands how to use them are mentioned you can refer to that document okay, after that if I do finish it will again ask for the password and username okay, so it's saying everything up to date Okay. so this way you can even uh, take a pull from some other branch so all those kind of operation which you do via git commands you can do with the eclipse egit plugin now let us see the second scenario which is when my project is present in my remote repo and I want to take the clone of that project to my local system so in order to do that what I will do I will just create a new workspace first an empty workspace in my local system so I will say switch workspace other and I will say selenium 2 let's create a new workspace so you can see my workspace location is opened in Eclipse okay but currently there is no project in it so in this case I'm going to take the clone of my remote project to my local system that is my local uh, Eclipse so in order to do that what I will do I will click on import and then I will go to get projects from git okay next okay then I will select on clone URI okay if there is some existing local repository like dot git folder which is present like you can select that but we are going to take it from remote so I will do clone URI so my repo details are already here because I copied them uh, earlier so I will just give the username and password and then I will do next 
okay so you can see it has uh, highlighted the branch if there are multiple branches it will show all those branches then we have to select the branch so you can select any location by default it will be under your user directory git folder okay you can give some other location as well git one or something you can change after this click on next and then again next and then finish so this way you can see like I have cloned my remote project to my local eGit uh, to my local Eclipse okay so you can even in this case after this you can perform all the basic commands like commit push pull all those commands like you have to go to team and then perform those commands there are a few more cool features in this like for example you have made some changes to a file some file okay okay and and you want to undo that change okay so the simpler way will be to replace with like local history or some previous from the local history or you even you can do the head revision like whatever the code present in your remote repo you can replace it with directly then after that you can even compare this file with the remote or the local history okay if I do this head revision so you can see like I can compare two files okay if there are some changes it will highlight those changes so all those kind of actions you can do even there is one more uh, helpful feature which is synchronize workspace it also compare your code base with the remote repo code base okay it's asking that I am changing the perspective so you can see this is my synchronization view as currently there are no changes in the git project so it is showing it as empty so first let me make some change I will again switch to my Java perspective okay so let's make a change like I will add one more text box command dot send keys one two three okay this is just uh, for the change okay once I do that okay then what I can do I can again switch to the git perspective from here directly now or even I can select from here like right click team and synchronize workspace okay so here you can see like as soon as I made the change that particular file is being indicated here so you can see it is being compared with my remote repository this commit 18 which is the my which is my last commit okay so this way you can compare the files you can know like what kind of changes you have made okay so this plugin is very useful like when you're working with Eclipse it has very good advantages which you can utilize like and you can visualize your code how it looks in local uh, code base and how it looks in your remote code base you can compare them you can replace them you can push pull all those kind of operations you can do so this was all about the egit plugin i hope you guys are able to understand i will attach the documentation link of egit plugin in the video links in case of any questions let us know i will try our best to answer those queries thank you